Hello and welcome to this week's installment of 9 to 5 Nerds with Robert Swathwood, Corey Urkel, Hello. and Katrina Swathwood. Hello. Um, what are you looking at? Mm. Okay. Ghost. Uh, have you watched Endgame yet? Again? Not again, no. You bought it already? Yeah. First day. I went on my lunch and <laughs> bought it and put it in my car and we started watching it when I got home. The Blu-ray high definition 4K. I didn't get 4K. I don't mm. have a 4K TV yet. We do. It's outside. Oh yeah. We bought a new TV for our patio. Did you? Yeah. Oh. The other one got water damaged because I forgot to cover it. A lot. Does it seep through? I thought it was pretty a well little protected. bit. A little bit. Ah. Uh, no, but I, I I went and got it and we watched it over two days because it's kind of long. Um, kind got, of long. Yeah, I got to see the taco part that I missed. Yeah, I don't know how you missed it because he went, to, went the to the bathroom. Oh, did you? Yeah, I missed that and getting and Cap getting the shield back. They happen to be back to back moments. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I had missed that, and I'm happy I saw it this time. I also caught um. You guys don't know who Matthew Barry is, do you? Yes. You do? He's in What We Do in the Shadows TV show. No, that's Matt Berry. Oh, then no. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, who are you talking about? Matt Berry is an actor. Matthew Berry is the uh, fantasy football guru for ESPN. Okay. He was next to Robert Redford when they were... Oh, you mentioned that when nice. they were in the lobby. I was like, oh, hey, that's Matthew Berry. I saw some... St- I, there's an Aaron Zola cameo. Was it? Deep in the background when Stark's in the lab underground. There's so much going on in that movie yeah so much going on uh, still good yeah i forgot that it started with hawkeye and i was like oh fuck yeah that part's rough uh yeah that that was a, that, that was a tough back. part yeah i i know but he had to live five years without him yeah that's a long time he was good jeremy renner was good in that movie when when uh when his wife's calling him for the first time and he looks at the phone and stuff and yeah yeah, yeah there was some good stuff is it weird that they filmed Tony Stark doing the snap without any witty retort until I don't know. It, I don't it was months months it was a re, it was a pickup shot for him to do the I am Iron Man. Yeah, it was supposed to be silent initially. Yeah, that sounds weird. like I don't know. It seems like automatic. Why wouldn't you make that? Yeah, it should have been perfect. the first thing on the script. Have you uh have you seen the video that somebody made of Iron Man playing? Playing what? No, like Black Sabbath's Iron Man. Oh, you think playing with the snap. Really good. You talked about that, I think, at one point in time to me. It's uh, it's worth a watch if you want to go find it on the internet, the interwebs. Look it up. Uh, gee, I saw something on the internet. It made me laugh. God, this was like a week ago. But there was a big cast photo that I, I didn't, I've never seen with everybody who's anybody in Marvel. I, it was a big, you know, like there's 100 people. On the that, risers, right? Probably. I didn't see the photo. I just read about that when Gwyneth Paltrow was there, she was asking Kevin Feige, why is uh, Samuel Jackson Samuel here? Jackson here? What movie is he in? Yeah, she, she didn't even know that she was in a Spider Man movie. Yeah. yeah, so it goes on to say like the article is talking about how forgetful she doesn't know what movie she's in in the Marvel universe. Like she's arguing with John Favreau and, on his <laughs> cooking show. Yeah, that he's like, oh, when we did Spider Man, she's like, I didn't do Spider Man movie. He's like, yes, you did. Like yeah. if that was a <laughs> if that was a football player, they think you have CTE. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, she's apparently got other things that she doesn't care about. So. Uh, Sebastian Sands made a funny Instagram. I saw that, or, or sorry, a tweet or something. I've met Gwyneth Paltrow now for the third time. Yeah, I saw I, that too. That was pretty good. Oh, oh, that's funny. Yeah, so ditzy. Yeah, no kidding. Or she I, just doesn't care. I actually uh, watching it again. I actually really liked her suit too, and I liked how her suit interacted with uh, Iron Man's suit when they were doing the big battle at the end. They're pairing. I, I can't remember the difference. Well, cause they kind of flew up to each other and they turned backwards, and they were each doing like shit with their shoulders. Well, and she like, had like an extra shoulder pad kind of X that would pop off and yeah. have blasters. That was pretty too. cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I tried to s- look at different things this time mm-hmm. that I looked at the last time. Shit in the background. Mm-hmm. Like Drax to- wearing a shirt at the funeral. Yes, Drax had a shirt on. I was like, nobody dressed up, for, or nobody in the Guardians dressed up for this because like Quill is just in his regular thing. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh, Drax has a shirt on. <laughs> it's That's like funny. a vest. It's like a black um, fitted vest. I don't know. At one point, Marvel's got a whole freaking itinerary. I think that thing that a big group photo they took when everyone was on set for the funeral scene, but they had shot that before. I think it was Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel and. Black Panther or something like that? Well, I know that... Uh, Jesus Christ, they planned that shit out well. Well, there was a thing that, that the the uh, the toxic portion of the fan base was, was like, why is Brie Larson wearing so much makeup in Avengers and she's not wearing any in... I mean, she was still wearing makeup, but she's not wearing as much in uh, Miss, or Captain Marvel. Was filmed before the other? Yeah, her stuff in, in Avengers was filmed ahead of time, I believe, or at least that one scene where it looks like... 
But uh, it sounds like uh, the Russo brothers and a lot of the other people that like the hair and makeup stuff is at the discretion of the person who's in it. That's why... Unless you're Nebula and you yeah, have to shave your head. Yeah. That's why Scarlett Johansson <laughs> hair has been different, so different in each one. It's It was at her discretion to do with That's it what she wanted to. Probably in their contract. I mean, why not? I don't... So is it Steve Rogers' choice? Sorry, Steve Beard? Rogers. Beardless? For the beard. I don't know. That'd be interesting in the... To know. It just comes and goes for a movie. But you then might... they also have to like drop out a hat and just go somewhere. Hey, you got to be here tomorrow. Okay. I've toyed around with the idea of doing the, the Iron Man beard and cutting oh, yeah. it. Because I can't grow hair right here. You got to on it, man. But I can just have the up arrow right here and come down. Get a so brush. I, I could actually it do it. Yeah. I could actually do it. Do it for a costume first and then keep it afterwards and explain, oh, yeah, I did it. I yeah. did it for a costume. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that would go over very well. Uh, <laughs> Oh, um, so I don't think I've talked about him on here, but you guys both know my friend Ernesto, who I work with. Yes. Uh, so we do coffee every Thursday. Him and I will go to whatever coffee shop every Thursday. And all the guys at work tease us that we're, oh, you're going on a date or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So one of our other coworkers today called us Bert and Ernie. Nice. Okay. Because I call him Ernie. Okay. And my name's Robert. Nice. That's a good name. So I asked our uh, our lead today if we could drive together on the same route on Halloween. And dress up. <laughs> and dress up as Bert and Ernie. And he said yes. <laughs> so so you have your costume. So it looks like we're I doing. don't know if you want to lean into that too much. You just, I'll keep leaning. You're I'm setting okay yourself up. That's all right. <laughs> I'm all right with it. Holy shit. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. Uh, we have these big lift gates on the back of the trucks. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, one of the guys was out of middle school today and a class let out and they were all running towards PE and they weren't watching where they were going. Mm. And one of them ran face first into the steel lift gate. Bam! Oh my God. Oh Change my God. Run into shit, man. You can't help Blood it. everywhere? No blood. Oh, lucky. Yeah. Well, it's not, like it's, it's not like it's a thin layer of metal. It's really thick. So, right. So it wasn't like uh, but just at a point. Dunk. But yeah, Did they, they hit their head? Yeah. Not unconscious. But he walked the person to the nurse's office. Oh my god! So I mean, but everything was stupid. Was all right. Fucking kids. Yeah. Uh, no, Happy Hogan's face too, man. You could see the pain on John Favreau's face at the end. And yeah, what's I was telling Katrina last night? It's like, I want to watch what happens next. Not like Spider Man. I want to know what happens to some of these characters next. And we don't get Thor till twenty twenty one. No, some of these main series you're not going to see. For well, a next while. year, next year is Black Widow, which I don't really care that much about. No. Falcon and yes, that's a TV show. That's I'm different. more excited. No, about, still continuing the yeah, story. I'm more excited about some of the TV shows than I am. I think he's talking about just theatrical releases. Yeah, because like I can't remember what else was next year. It was something. It was the Eternals. That'll be cool, but it won't. Yeah. progress anything. It's the Eternals and Black Widow. But the next year after that is uh, Thor. What else did I say? It was Thor and uh, now I gotta look. I need clarification on something because I saw you know where there was I guess a poster came out at comic-con for the eternals Mm -hmm. and i have some article talking about like here's the art here's what it might look like but it said something that the eternals have been shown before in guardians and it referenced i think the flashback when the the uh whatever benicio del toro's name was when he was explaining the infinity stones they showed a circle of people worshiping the power stone or doing whatever i don't know if those are supposed to be eternals and then it also referenced that the giant skull they were, that what's that place called? Nowhere. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. that was an eternal, and that um, what's his name from part two was an eternal, uh, Star Lord's dad. Ego. But I thought they were all Are you talking about Adam Warlock, not Eternals. Okay. No, uh, Ego. Okay. Is a celestial and an eternal the same? I don't know. I have no idea. Hmm. I'm not familiar enough with it. Um, it was Doctor Strange and Thor both come out 2021, which I'm excited for those. Uh, did I say Doctor Strange and Thor? Yes. That's what I meant to say. You just said that. So it's a uh, Black Widow, May 1st, 2020, the Falcon, the Winter Soldier, Fall 2020, which I'm ex- actually excited about. The Eternals is November 6th, 2020. Uh, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is February 12th, 2021. Which I'm, I'll see when it gets closer. I hope Ben Kingsley comes back in any capacity as something fake. Uh, what's his name? Uh, 
uh, mandarin fake yeah, mandarin because they said it's a real mandarin now you're right and you watch the one-off where he was could it just be like a side yes, shot of him saying i was the yeah. mandarin one day um, loki tv show 2021 wandavision 2021 Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness 2021. What if Spring 2021? That'll be tight. The what if? Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Uh, as long as the, I don't know how the animation's gonna be, but if it's as good as Spider Verse, is it tight. supposed to be animated? I think so. Oh, hmm. but maybe it could be like one of those collab movies where there's a bunch of different animators, one for each story. That'd be cool. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. I know there's gonna be a Spider Verse sequel, and I know that the guys who did that are branching out into other things, animated Spider Man stuff, but uh. Since we're talking about Disney Plus, did you see that Ian McGregor, Ewan McGregor yes. is in negotiations to for Obi Wan for Obi Wan for a Disney Plus show? I was hoping you say that. That'd be tight. Yeah, I mean, it, everybody's been wanting a movie. I'd be down for him or Alec Guinness reprising their role. Yeah, from the dead, like a puppet. Uh, this wouldn't be the first time Star Wars has done that. Won't be the last. Very true. No, I'd almost prefer because these shows are supposed to have like a hundred and fifty million dollar budgets. It's supposed to have like massive budgets. That'd be tight. Well, it could help fill in some of the gaps of how we got somewhere and Who's who these people it? are. <laughs> They'll actually decide how much. Uh, I isn't care about Game of Thrones? Aren't they? Aren't those two doing some Star Wars stuff? I know. I believe they were supposed so. to, but then Netflix signed them for two hundred fifty mil each or whatever. The f- well, John uh, Farber is doing the Mandalorian, right? Mandalorian. Oh, the, the Mandarin. It's very <laughs> similar. <laughs> it is, but different. Is he? I actually didn't I thought know that. so. That'd be cool. I'd be down for that. Um, but I almost prefer uh, a show, a new McGregor Obi Wan show over a movie. And I'm assuming it would take place between episodes three and four. Yeah. Don't breathe so much into the mic, Katrina. Jesus. That's not me. It's not me. Hmm. Uh, no, but I had just saw that earlier today, so that's kind of breaking news today. I also saw a thing where the main guy from uh, the Ten Rings movie. There was a thing in his country where they were going around asking people on the street if he was ugly. Oh my god. So I guess a bunch of people in in where I, wherever they were filming think he's ugly, which I think is the fuck doesn't matter. I think he's actually a good looking dude. I don't know if I know what he's no Asian like. Jim, but why are they asking if he's ugly? <laughs> Asian Jim was just in he was in a movie. Yes, John Favreau's doing the directing Mandalorian. Mandalorian. It was Aquaman. Asian Jim was in Aquaman. He was on the news. And then he was at the very end with Black Manta. Have you seen Aquaman yet? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I thought it was right. We just watched it again. It's it still it's a, it's fun, a right? fun movie. Yeah. Well, the the boys, Oliver really liked it a lot. <laughs> I thought you mentioned. I watched the first episode of The Boys. I haven't watched it yet. We just finished Stranger Mine Things. Mine starts tomorrow. So uh, well, we watched does it? Yeah. Shit, we watched Glow in one weekend. 3 days. Really? Was it how many episodes? 10. Okay. 30 to 45 minutes uh boy says eight yeah so i'm gonna eight one hour episodes yeah but Ugh. i want to watch that i'm not gonna too. say anything about it because i actually think it's really cool no don't say anything about it we'll talk about but it when we're done at the end of it this the credit or the director of it because every episode is directed by somebody different it was one of the totally rad show guys nice those he, are your boys yeah and i immediately like Tracton, is it trachtenberg yeah nice and then i was like i looked it up and he's done one episode for this mike that's weird you only do one episode are you th- think that's a little strange but i guess i think they do that so that's like a regular thing i don't know how busy the schedule is but all the actors film every episode yeah but the directors split into like one eighth segments well i mean that's a lot of things like kevin smith has directed multiple flash episodes and supergirl episodes yeah. and even game of thrones there's a different director sometimes they do mm-hmm. two episodes but it's weird how consistency doesn't change like I couldn't call out one certain director for any episode of it. No. Well, when anything. I was listening to Kevin Smith talk about it, he was like, they've been in these characters for a certain amount of time and they know how to do it. So you're just doing the shots basically, not the acting part? You're just, like, yeah. You're just coming in to kind of try to put your spin on it if you want to. But I mean, Well, with Hannibal sh- was the same way. They had different directors for it's all the episodes. It's everything. Yeah. The Office, so, I was watching one episode and it said J.J. Abrams. And I was yeah. like, oh. So... I'm going to get to him in a second. But I wonder if that's a little weird for the actor. Like, who am I shooting with today? I wonder if they mix and match directors. So you get all these eight different guys, one each day. I, I would, I'd be curious to see how often a director changes in the first season as opposed to the the seasons after that. Because it seems like once you're established, then it's yeah. easier to switch it out. But this is the first season. Of, I think they've already been renewed for a second season. I think so, too. Um, um, I don't know why directors are sticking to the material. I don't know why J.J. Abrams didn't do all three Star Wars how do you do one of a trilogy and then didn't want to do two and three? Didn't the original three have three different directors? Uh, I 
don't know they what, had which one Lucas put his name on, but I think she's looking at it. I, God, I wonder if Lucas put his name on the first one, and then two and th- sorry, five and six. I don't know. Were the other dude? <laughs> I wouldn't even know his name. Ivan, something. Like we, we understand as like uh, we're not uh, older, but we understand that like. Raiders of the Lost Ark is just called Raiders of the Lost Ark, not right? Not like Indiana Jones Correct. and Raiders of yeah. the Lost Ark. So when you call A New Hope, you can say A New Hope, right? Yeah. Uh, so I thought it was weird that I was thinking about directors. The Abrams, then he took over one movie and was going to pass it off. So you get a whole different director's take. A whole on different outlook. Yeah, we have a new Star Wars movie this month, this yeah. year. And is it Abrams directing a new one? I think he is. Yeah, they all had different directors. Okay. okay. Who were they? Uh, so George Lucas was the first one, and you hope, okay. and then the second one was Irvin Kirshner, mm-hmm. and Irvin. then Richard Marquin. Okay. Um, no, uh, the season of Glow because you haven't watched any of Glow. It, excellent season, man. The show is so good, it yeah. really is. But uh, Gina Davis was in it. Really? Yeah. She, she was great. Yeah. She. It, the, the show takes place in like the mid '80s. Yeah, like '86. Yeah. Was this season? And uh, Gina Davis is a, a showgirl from like the '60s. I think it was the 60s yeah right but she was running that hotel yeah she, she was running a hotel she it. owns the hotel but she uh it was i guess it was gina davis's idea she came out in a showgirl costume with like nipple tassels and really? she's like 60 she's in her early 60s yeah she should be doing respectable stuff if she wants to she, she it was her idea that's awesome and it, yeah and she looked great i was like wow like it was a really big surprise well i read a thing that said that none of the other girls can would even be able to put it on because there's so much weight to those costumes because there's like the headdress and there's the back piece and there's right. that you'll have a uh, they tip muscle. over. Well, she's just I guess she's just the Viking chick could probably carry I, it. I mean this in the most respectful way. She's built sturdy, and she's just she's solid. So they said she could just put the weight on, and it wasn't. It, well, you can even tell she was like really restrictive in how she moved and how she turned her head. It was like uh, Michael Keaton with the Batman it costume, was like where very he was like yeah no structured. Man. No, but uh, th- this season was really good. I didn't know Mine Hunter Hunter comes out tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh. Those are longer episodes, though. Yeah, they are. That's a good show. I almost want to watch the last episode of the second season. How many different directors are there? <laughs> I don't know. Do I need to look it up? No. Uh, but then we'll probably start to boys afterwards. Um, so we, far, one episode I like a lot. We finished Stranger Things. Very foul. Uh, we'll probably do a Wait. podcast with Parker this weekend. So Stranger Things? We can touch three. on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was good. I really liked it. Like the first four or five episodes, every ending of the episode, I'm like, oh my God, I want to watch more. Parker's been walking around singing the fucking never ending story. So. Yes, he has. Did you, when you heard that part, like, sorry, you watch it once. But when that part started, were yeah. you just flipping out? It was fun. Well, it, not because of the, the never ending story song, but because it's a super serious episode that and then breaks cuts. for that point And you're just like, what? But we all know the song also yeah. from our child. So yeah. it's like, oh my God, of course. they. I love when Lucas and Max are singing it at the end. Me too. That was that great. Was that really was even better. better. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was, it was, it was a great season. I liked it a lot. I would say I probably agree with most people that the second, I enjoyed the second season too, but that was probably the worst season. Yeah. Uh, I like everything about this one. I think uh, Elle had a little too many of ah. the screaming stuff. Like, I think the first ser- season she had like one or two of those where she was for full power and she was screaming and crying and powering. I think season two she did like twice. I love how Steve is the it, parent. Yeah. <laughs> every episode this time she was doing a scream yell. Well, they said that well, she was dealing with some pretty big shit. It wasn't like it was small things. I heard that the next season it isn't until late 2021. You're going to be adults. Yeah. They I got, mean, you need to get that shit going. They got to skip a few years. They can't just say, hey, Thanksgiving, I'm back. It's three months later. I mean, I, I want to save some stuff for when we talk with Parker on here, but I mean, it's safe to say that Hopper went through the portal and came out in Russia, right? Uh, if it will be really subverting our expectations if it's not that. Because, yeah, oh, not the American? Yeah. It's, if they don't show somebody die on screen, they're alive. Yeah. And I assume he went through the portal or something like that. I think so. With all the other Russians, because they didn't show any Russians being arrested. Could you hear me drinking on there? I heard the last gulp. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think he's gone. Okay. One thing I wanted to say is Alexi. I liked that character a lot. I, I think everybody did. did. I was really sad. I seen like Comic Con little pins with Alexi and it was a little icy. Yeah, a lot of people did. And his his like little bromance for an episode or so. Who do you think my favorite character was this season? Katrina knows, but he was my favorite character this season. Billy. No. Oh. Although he did have a kind of a turnaround. Um. 
You got a, the mayor. Uh, Carrie Elvis? No. Yeah. You did get a lot of uh, the Terminator. explanation of why the guy that looks like, uh, <laughs> he looked like Robert Patrick mixed with Arnold yeah. Schwarzenegger. I think they hired him. Like I watched oh God, the director's talk for like 30 minutes about references they put in movies. And they specifically said they hired this guy because he looked like the Terminator and they wanted that vibe. Yeah. Even well, they mission his, accomplished. Yeah. They shove his face or Hopper shoved his face. I uh, got a cut at the end and it's the exact scar that the Terminator had. At There's one a couple time. scenes that are exact scenes from other movies like that. I can't remember what it was, but I was watching it one time and be like, Hey, that's exactly like such and such movie from, they love to do that. Like just fine. I heard that initially these guys were supposed to do it. That would have been a tight. And hit. you can see the parallels, you I, know, I don't know who directed it now, but considering it was like the highest grossing horror movie ever, I don't think the studio regrets that at all. Uh, Murray. My favorite character from this season. So Robert I, loves him. I love that guy. Names elude me for a second. He's the guy that oh, was friends with Alexi. Okay, the conspiracy theorist. Yeah. 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 He was so good in this season. Yeah. I, I re- what, what do we know him from? The Office. We know him from The Where's Office. Where's Phyllis? Okay. Where's Phyllis? I think I know him from the other guys. Damn it. <laughs> you sleep with my wife right now. What is it? What? The other guys? I don't remember He was Will Ferrell's well. Will had a hot ex-wife and that was her husband. I remember it, that part. He chased him down the road. You sleep with my wife right now. No, but he was really good in the season. Yeah. Bald Eagle. Like him and Alexi, he's, he's like waving the corn dogs when he gets spoiler <laughs> shot. Yeah. They've never slept together? No. <laughs> they have a good laugh. It was it was good. I liked the season. I did too. Um, I, I Robin think was one of the best characters though. I she don't... was. She was great. She was really she good. She stole a lot of those scenes. There was a couple episodes oh. and angles where she looks so much like her, her mom, mom. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, Lucas's little sister. Erica? Was her too. Oh no, scene. she's great. Yeah. Uh, Dustin's, I think, my favorite character. Dustin? Yeah, 100%. I just like I love him. his and Steve, the relationship between those two. Yeah. They're, they're so good. When they comes back and he was all excited. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I like that they got uh, Lucas's sister. Is it Erica? Is that yeah. Her? I couldn't tell. Uh, D&D at the end. Like they gave yeah. her the. She's a nerd now. Yeah. yeah so. it's, it's cute. Yeah. I, I, I really like the season. I think season three of Glow is my favorite season. Even with the ending? Ugh. Dower. Well, the thing is, is is they don't know if they're getting renewed, and it's a big cliff tank, cliffhanger, and I didn't like the ending. Uh, I liked the whole season. I did too. But, but the thing is, is I read a thing on, on about Netflix where even their popular shows get canceled a lot of times after the third season because that's when people usually get to renegotiate. And if it's a big show with big stars, they want, they more, want money. More, more money, then they just cancel the show because it's not worth it. So Stranger Things, should we expect? I think Stranger Things is their number one show. That's good. Number one original. I th- I, th- I like Mine Hundred better, and then I think so good. and then I think Stranger Things and then Glow. Um, if you had to rank them, yeah, I like Glow a lot. There's so many Netflix shows I I can that I haven't watched. Like watched. I think Santa Cl- Santa Clarita Diet got canceled, but that's supposed to be really good. Uh, there's supposed to be a lot of good shows on there. I really like uh, Mark Maron a lot. So I mean that sh- he's just he was barely in this season. You think so? Yeah. He was like 30% of the screen time. You think so? Yeah. No way to back check. So you both right. Yeah. Correct. I think you're thinking more towards the later episodes where he left. So he might not have been in a couple episodes towards the end. Because I think the episode where they go to dinner is like the one that he was in it the most. He's the best part of that show. You going to watch The Dark Crystal? I don't know. I saw the new trailer. For it. I actually didn't know it was Netflix until today. I thought it was a movie. Coming it had out. Netflix like plastered all, all over, over the side the, of it. Yeah. I didn't pay enough attention. And I barely remember he doesn't the first read. one. <laughs> I watched a f- trailer on YouTube. I'm- Speaking of not reading, I bought uh, Final Fantasy VII on the Switch. It's out for the why Switch. Are you, why are you smirking? I didn't know it was out for the Switch. Yeah. Squinchy yeah. face. I think all the Final Fantasy games are out on there. Was it a remaster? Or no. is it plain old game just yeah. ported? Well, I, we got the uh, Sony but playstation classic but i don't want to sit on a short controller i want to be able to play it on the screen yeah so i got it and i played i had just played the through the first battle on the classic mm-hmm. and i was like i'm gonna play it on the switch so i played through that and parker saw me second like, i play and this is why i say speaking of not reading like he likes to skip through all the reading parts and i was like no you have to read yeah you have to read cloud come on soldier. so he made it through the first uh, explosion the, the reactor without reading oh yeah no he didn't he had to he killed the boss he, yeah nice uh the thing it was pissing me off i i yelled i didn't yell at him i was like parker stop because he was uh he was hitting a to attack and then in a for the target but you have to hit it again 
to complete your attack. You have mm. to actually hit it three times. Okay. And he was only doing it twice, so the little white gloved hand was just sitting on the... And nothing was happening? The yeah. The guys are just yeah. and bouncing, I'm like, dancing. I'm back. like, Parker, you, you have to do it. That's funny. Uh, I, you know, we don't know they're remaking it, but what's the... Sorry, I'm going to lose the words. They're remastering... Final Reimagining? Final yeah, so reimagining Final Fantasy VII, but I just saw they're remastering Final Fantasy VIII. There was a meme going around of... I don't remember the characters' names. Uh, Scythe? I can't remember. Shoot. Cypher? That's like the villain, isn't it? Jeez. Who does it? Uh, well, it's just the girl character at the ball in the beginning of the game telling the boy character, oh, you're the most handsome guy here. And then it's a meme of a zoom up of his face and all you see is just graphical Pixel. blur. <laughs> but so Square Enix released, uh, I think it was a video, of the same thing on the remaster. And when you zoom in, you actually see his face. So it ruined the meme. But it's great. It'd be better if it zoomed in like Ren Stimpy zooms in. Oh, and you see disgusting yeah, pimples and yeah. stuff. Uh, that was HD before HD was yeah. around. And I heard Square Enix got threatened with arson. Really? Because yeah. of that? No. Uh, under, <laughs> unrelated. But in Japan, you got to take that seriously because that animation studio got burnt down and all those people died. I think that's probably the most violent crime in Japan in a long time. They don't have crimes there. They're good people. Like here? Yeah. Well, we're, the crime's going so crazy that our president wants to buy Greenland. 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 You didn't see that news article? No. How much would he Can pay? we not? Oh, he's having like serious discussions about... Annexing? About buying Greenland. Can he move there and just stay there? Uh, well, he can buy it all he let, wants. Let's just play along with this. What would it be? A territory? What well, would it be the biggest territory? It's a strategic territory, but I, I mean... I mean what be no, a he's going to take all his fancy friends there when he blasts the fucking United States out of the water. <laughs> Somebody was like, you know that if you buy it with United States money, it's not like... Yours. It's not like a Trump deal where like he can buy a plot of land and build stuff. Yeah. No, he doesn't know that. Why did he just buy Canada? It's way closer. I also they, saw a thing what? that said if all the glaciers in Greenland Melt? melted, the sea level would raise 20 feet. Wow. Which would be nuts. Doesn't sound like a lot of Greenland to me. Well, they they just lost like 255 billion uh, tons of ice. Greenland's not green. That's Iceland. Iceland's green? Iceland's very green. So says Mighty Ducks Greenland. Yeah, we all learned that back in 1995. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, that Greenland thing is... Man, Mindhunter, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I have to watch The Boys too. That's on my list of things. Yeah, I want to keep watching, but not today. Uh... Should I tell the story of the baseball fields on here? I haven't told it before on here yet. Go ahead. You think so? Sure. You want to hear this? Is it interesting? Kind of. Then yeah. I'm a little <laughs> embarrassed about part of it. Uh, on your on your behalf? or I, I'll preface this by, regardless of what you think, Corey. Did you just go crazy berserk? I don't go crazy no. berserk on people very much anymore. Wait, what are, we talking? What, what are you doing on the fields? Sport time season? I thought it was over. No, Parker and I were just going to play catch. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Keeping skills so, up. Continue. Uh, I want to ask any listeners to comment about this on Twitter and see where they fall on this situation and what they would have done because I want to hear it. So uh, Parker and I walk over to the baseball fields, which are very close to our house, to go play catch. And we are warming up because I can't just start throwing hard anymore. I got to actually warm up. We start spacing out and he starts stepping back and starts stepping back and starts stepping back. So we start getting a little long toss going. Not really long, but uh, and Parker's throwing in like the high 40s, low 50s now. He's throwing pretty quick. And so there's a person walking their dog behind me and I don't want the dog or the person to get hit. So I say, hey, Parker, hold the ball. I hold my glove, my hand up and I say, hold the ball. And I turn around to watch them go by and I turn back around and the ball is like inches from my head. So I had asked him not to throw it. And he threw it while my back was turned. So I raise my voice, not to a yelling volume, and I'm going to back off the mic. And I go, Parker, you don't get any warnings today. Go get the ball. We're going home. Just like that. Uh, some history to this. He has actually hit kids on his team in the back. Because he just throws because wildly. Because he just throws the ball. And he doesn't make sure that they're ready to catch the ball. Exactly. And that's not just him. Lots of kids. Uh, lots they're of over eager they want to throw it hard yeah. they want to you know make everybody chase the ball so he gets the ball and we're walking away and i'm, I'm pretty pissed off because if it would have hit me in the head we'd have been going to the hospital and this lady who i've never seen before never met before goes you're really not getting upset with him for that are you 
And I go, yeah, I am. I was like, you don't know the situation. This is an issue we had to deal with a bunch of times. And I was like, you're not his dad. And she's like, well, I wish I was his parent. And I'm like, and I'm like, whatever. And I start raising my voice with her and she starts raising her voice with me. And we turn the corner and uh, she tells me it only takes one phone call to CPS and she's her, my kids are going to be hers. And I go, I was like, okay, my name's Robert Swathwood. Follow me. I live right behind here. You can call him. I don't care. And, uh, uh, we go back and forth. And the, and the most part I'm embarrassed about is that I lost my cool. I should have just said, Hey, it's none of your business. Mind your own business. I'm out of here mm-hmm. is what I should have said. But she got under my skin. She called me shitty dad and I was a terrible parent and all this stuff. Um, and, uh, so Parker's starting to get freaked out because somebody's yelling at me. Well, no. So I'll fill in that spot because... Well, I, I, I sent Parker home. I was like, Parker, go home. I'm going to talk to this lady. So I see Parker walking up the street and I'm outside throwing away something. And I'm like, hey, I was like, where's dad? And he's like, he's at the park. I was like, well, why is dad at the park if you're here? And he like didn't know how to answer me. And I was like, what is going on? And he's like, somebody's yelling at dad. And I was like, what do you mean somebody's yelling at dad? And like he had no way to articulate like what was happening. So then now I'm starting to freak out because I think something's going to happen. And I'm like, okay, you guys need to get in the house. I was like, you need to lock the door. Don't answer the door unless it's me or dad. To which he starts walking up up the street. I was pissed. Uh, No, but so (laughs) I tell the lady, I was like, come here. And she's like, no. So I go to go over the fence. She's like, if you come over the fence, my dog's going to attack you. I'm going to call the police. I'm like, well, then just come over and talk to me. And because I know from if I was on the other side and I thought a kid was actually being abused, I'd feel bad and I'd think about it. So I told her, I said, hey, he goes home to a very loving home. Don't worry about it. But so I tried to do the little thing at the end after I already fucking yelled at her. But I'm like, who is this lady? So I was asking some other baseball parents and they're like, they're, she's fucking lucky it wasn't me because I would have been going to jail. I would have fucking hit her. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me saying that. But the people were just like, what a bitch. Like, seriously, I didn't even yell, and I've yelled, and I feel bad about it when I yell, but all I did was raise my voice slightly and got stern because it's an issue that Parker hasn't done six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. It's been a bunch of times. So I was fucking livid that this piece of shit lady <laughs> thought she could butt in. I'm like, ugh. Well, the worst part is that she scared the shit out of Parker. Yeah, Parker like, was he crying. He was crying, crying for like a half an hour afterwards. He like, thought something bad was going to happen to me. <laughs> that was the worst part. Yeah, there was another guy standing behind watching what was going on. Like I was gonna fucking hit somebody. I'm like, no, this fucking piece of shit person should have minded their own business and fucking kept out of it. That's funny. I was so pissed. All the fun. Yeah. Go ahead and call CPS. Bunch of idiots. I'd have been okay with it. They could have come over. Yeah, I'd come look at my fucking dirty ass house. Yeah. (laughs) I'm busy. Yeah, but that happened like two weeks ago. I was going to talk about it last time, but I forgot. <laughs> I was pissed for like three days, man. I'm sure. Uh, what well, yeah. if you see the lady again? Oh, I told other people and they're like, they're What'd like, she what does she like? look like? What's she wearing? What kind of dogs does she well, have? Because we all, uh, all these families come over to the fields yeah. during the off season. Yeah. I wish it would have been 15 minutes later because one of the guys that Coach Parker was showed there. up and I was like, man, if he would have showed up, they would have had my back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she must live around here, right? I've never... I walk the dog every single day, and I go over the fields all the time. I've never seen her one time. Hmm. I've seen the guy that was with her before. He looked familiar. I don't know. I don't think I they don't knew know each other. They, I don't think... They I don't know, together. but they were talking to each other when I was over there walking her. There's uh, an older gentleman that wears sunglasses as a hat, and he walks two separate dogs, an old golden retriever and a little white dog. And there's two other people that have... Uh, uh, not beagles that? not yeah. what are the ones with the long saggy ears that have those that low howl that hoo, hoo, hoo. beagles right beagles are smaller aren't they no. it's not a dachshund it's a uh the one that's uh, i'm a hound dog what kind of dog is that from fox and the hound a hound dog yeah i guess <laughs> there's but i see them every day and like i wave to them because we all walk our dogs right there mm-hmm. and my dog wants to eat all their dogs so i keep my distance but <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, that happened. It sucked. Yeah, those are beagles. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. What are you going to do? Put out a wanted poster with that lady's face? Oh, no, but some of the parents were like, well, if we see her there, we're going to uh, fake act like <laughs> that I'm stage. screaming at my kids and, and stage events. <laughs> stage instance. instance. Uh, it reminds me of this uh, one of the episodes of It's Always Sunny 
somebody gets shushed by somebody at a bar and it stays in my like at least uh dennis is mine Ooh, that reminded the, me of something the whole time like oh, we gotta find a shusher because we gotta get him back so they start calling places like do you know a guy who looks like go to a <laughs> police uh sketch artist and say he, he looks like this but he had to get the shushing right and they eventually find the guy and i need to watch that show one of these days but it's the same thing it's, it's shusher lady um you're not a parent not, not that i know not of. that you know of uh, the situation with Hopper when Eleven and Mike are, Mike are talking and they're whispering. We, we mentioned after you watched that episode, I think I was like, "You would, I would have beat that kid." What would I wouldn't have beat the kid? Uh, but I meant like, "Get the fuck out of my house!" Right? How grounded? You I would have that freak out that he did later on. Uh-huh. About ten minutes later, it would have been then. I, I that is so disrespectful, and I know they meant that. I mean to come across that way, but right. oh my god. Well, yeah. he gave he gave Mike his little the balls on that kid little thing at the end. Well, he was still going at him in the car. Yeah, he, yeah. Psh, I don't like you, adult. Right. Oh. I love like, David Harbor. Yeah, he's so good. He's good. Did you watch his sh- his little short thing, the Frankenstein's oh monster, monster Frankenstein? So strange. On Netflix. No. It's like a forty-five minute. It's like, meant to be like a mockumentary. Fate. Yeah, it's like a mockumentary. He goes back to find like his dad's footage and. Is he playing himself? He's playing himself and he's playing his dad. <laughs> but his <laughs> his dad did like was little before, soap opera. Was it before Stranger Things? No, it no. came out after. Really? It's like 45 yes. minutes and it's... It's so weird. It's one of those so terrible it's funny type things. Well, but they right. meant it to be bad. That was like that Valentine's Day. Yeah. Alfred yeah. Alfred Molina's in it for a minute. Yep. That's funny. I guess. Like it's... it's I have to watch it. Really good. What's it called? Was Frankenstein's Monster. Monster Frankenstein. Okay. I'll find it. It's so strange. It is. It's it's it <laughs> And a, you get lost in the middle of it. You're like, "Wait, what is happening? Who who is he now?" I like when he's digging up dirt and the guy's like, "If you dig up dirt, you might get your fingernails dirty." <laughs> and he's like, "What are you threatening me?" He's like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just it's random fucking it's So weird. Yeah, it was it, was, it was it's fun. worth to watch. Yeah. It's funny. I can't stop thinking about mine hunters being on. Yeah. It's in your mind. It is, Hunter. Even though I don't know how you're going to deal with this season. Why? Because of the topic for the, the chase is probably going to... What's the topic for the chase? Uh, do you want to know? Yeah, now I do. It's the uh, Atlanta children mur- murders. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, you guys see the trailer for The Hunt? Not mine, Hunters. The Hunt. No, that show that movie got canceled. Yeah. Well, kind of. <laughs> It's, it's the main. It got canceled, but it's, it's got the, a trailer. Well, it'll come out eventually in some way. Yeah. It's a Blumhouse production. Yeah, I like Blumhouse too. Yeah, and the trailer looked really. You know what fun. it's about, right? No, you know anything? It's like what is it like a group of rich people hunt deplorables? Yeah, it's it's the most dangerous <laughs> game. Deplorables. Most dangerous game, but like in a group scenario, and I guess the trailer doesn't really play it up, but it's rich people versus poor people, but also right hunting the left. I thought it was the left hunting the right, though. Oh, was it that way? Yeah, Sorry. that's why. That's why I, the right was so upset then about I misread the movie. It. I thought it was the like gun-loving people versus the uh, hippies. I thought it was the other way around. The trailer doesn't really tell you do that justice in that way. So, but you know, with this, all the shootings going on, uh, there's yeah backlash. They're gonna table it for now. There, what's the, the movie looks perfectly fun in like a violent way? What's the American girl's name from Glow? Like I can't remember her name, her wrestling name. Oh God. Um... Was she in it? She's the main character? She's the main character, yeah. I didn't know her from anything, so. Yeah. She's the crying girl from American Gods. Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell. There crying girl. Sorry, it's been too long. Dane while. Cook's wife. Dane Cook's wife. Dead wife's best friend. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. it's her. I forgot Dane Cook was in it. There's a bunch of nudity in the, se- in the third season of Glow. What, one of them was funny because it was it was Allison Brie and she's trying to make the other girl laugh and she's just like shaking her boobs and she's like jumping into her. And I was like, this is out of nowhere. This is, <laughs> it was a ridiculous scene. There was a lot of boobs. That's cool. I mean, I guess not HBO, but trying to get that market, right? Well, Netflix, I mean, has had boobs and lots of stuff. Not quite like HBO. Come on. You mean, I think Cinemax has them beat. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. It's not on anymore. Well, it's Emmanuel, Queen of the Galaxy, man. That was a curse. What's George Clooney's ex-girlfriend? Krista Allen? Kirsten Allen? She was on that. It's like softcore porn. It was like right at that time where I was a teenager. I was like 13, 14. So it's like, yeah, boobs. <laughs> awesome. That's all you get in softcore porn. It was just but. like, it's like Tommy Wiseau grinding. Yeah. Like, why is he fucking her belly button? <laughs> 
I gotta watch Disaster Artist again too. He was just here again too. Oh, is he? Yeah, we gotta do that one of these days. Go watch it. Do you think he watches it when he goes to the premieres, or he just? He's probably doing cocaine in the back <laughs> for an hour and a half, keeping his girlish figure. That's how he stays up past midnight. It's a cocaine psychosis. Do you think they'll ever make a sequel? The next room? Yeah. The room two. Room harder. Room harder. I'm sure he, I'm sure he has a script. Going it should be on. the broom. And then it's like the groom. <laughs> and the the vroom. The zoom. We just got to remake it. How about that? With a bigger budget. <laughs> we, we applied for D23 passes, media passes for the podcast and got denied. Really? Yeah. Hmm. We got approved for LA Comic Con and Designer Con. Tight ship D23. Yeah, man. probably. They said they got thousands of applications, which isn't surprising. Maybe I next year. I'll I just, didn't even read it. I just saw the headline may, that it was denied. I was like, okay. Well, I asked questions. I was like, why? And I'd like to know and blah, 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 blah. My dad just sent me pictures of uh, Star Wars, it, the Star Wars stuff in Florida. They had a cast member experience. Is it built? It's it's built. It it opens at the end of this month, okay. August 29th. Even What's there's one? What it's called? I don't know. I think it's Galaxy's Edge, but I don't know what the planet is because it's a different planet. Right. Oh, like, that's cool. So you go to two of them yeah. and see two different planets. Um, even ours is not up and running full capacity, right? Like the no Rise of the Resistance opens in December okay. or January, but everything else is open. Just that the second ride. You haven't been right October. Okay. We're renewing our passes in October. Okay, and then you'll get to go 18 times in that year. Yeah. Well, we go for Hopefully. three. We go for three days the first time, but Halloween. Yeah. Yep. Uh, October fifteenth, sixteenth, and seventeenth. You skipped a whole year. Yep. We went to Orlando last year. Yep. And we got Universal passes for this year, and we were going to Universal this Sunday, actually. Yeah, I heard. It'll be our third, third time. Yeah. Jurassic Park. Mm-hmm. Woo. Parker, Parker wants to go on it. Yeah, he does. He really does. Sorry, the Jurassic World. It's Jurassic World now. Ooh. I but think, to get down there, like when I think Chris Pratt does voiceovers in it and stuff. I, I think I've, you've been to Universal Studios. Yeah, it's been since forever Super ago. Super Troopers came out. So, but I mean, there's the stairs to get down to like where Backdraft used to be. You have to ride like a 20 minute escalator yeah. ride. I kind of remember that. I ran up one of the stairs last time. Uh, was, I don't know why you died. did that. You did it once too <laughs> with Oliver. Didn't I you? didn't run. I had to show that I could do it. And I, I got know. to the top. I'm like, <gasps> you a show Rocky, off. Except if Rocky was oh, way out of shape. Alan's biggest complaint is they don't have Bort licensed places in Springfield. What? Bort. You don't oh. remember that part of the Simpsons? No. And Bart's looking for his name. And then he's like, why is there no Bart? But there's Bort. Gotcha. Whose name is Bort? And they're like, Bort, Bort. Hey, Bort. Where are you, Bort? That rings a bell. Yeah. But we're going up there Sunday. That'll be tight. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Too bad they don't have Back to the Future. It's, it's Simpsons now. And it's so dated. It's just not not uh, good. We gotta do something new, man. Oh, you know what? Rampage. I need to say thank you. We have a new Patreon Yay. person. Corey Noel. Oh, is he really? Yeah. I told him he didn't need to. <laughs> no, he didn't need to. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I wonder if his wife knows. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. We're doing a Japanese serial killer escape room at the end of the month. Or beginning of next month. September 1st. I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Be careful. I heard that only the intro video is really scary, that the rest of it's fine. Okay. Not like Sister Secret that was supposed to be scary the whole time. There's some jump scares in there. The room was really small, too. It was kind of bloody. <laughs> what do you what got, do you Corey? Mean? Uh, you see Simon Cowell, what he looks like nowadays? No. Oh, uh, it's just people saying, what the hell happened to Simon Cowell? What? Poor that's, plastic that's surgery. That's Photoshop, right? No, I think it's poor plastic surgery and aging. They're not combined well for the man. But who is that? Oh, him? Simon Cowell. Oh, I saw that picture. He was talking about how he's a vegan now. Oh, that's what he blamed it on. Uh, that, that face is vegan. That, that's what happens when you become vegan. But he gets to drink beer, so he's happy he gets to drink beer. Poor yeah, guy. I haven't had a the the biggest critic in the world is now going to be critiqued to no end. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't care. Uh, Tumblr so, sold. You know Tumblr is? Yes. Social media thing. Tumblr? Are, aren't they yes. all yeah. social yeah, I just thought it was uh, very funny. It sold in, what, like 2013 for like, I don't know how many billion, $1.1 billion. When you said Tumblr, I thought you meant, uh, what's the... What's Tinder? It? Tinder. Tinder. I was like, Tinder Probably sold? Worth Bumble? Pro- no. No, not Bumble. <laughs> Tumblr sold 2013 for $1.1 $1. $1 billion, and now Yahoo sold it off for $30 million. 
Oh my God. <laughs> what a loss. That's a huge loss. Well, Yahoo doesn't really make great decisions. Yeah, apparently not. I mean, at that point, is it even worth selling? Like, It must be if they had to sell it. I don't know. You're making pennies on the dollar. Jesus. And uh, Well, you got to cut your losses if you're not bringing cash in because yeah. they were supposed to start their own streaming service. In five years, that's all it takes to ruin a website. If you're Yahoo. <laughs> yeah. I guess one thing, I, I don't use Tumblr. I don't use half of it, social media crap, but apparently nudity was rampant on that site, but I was a safe haven for a lot of people to use it for that purpose. And then they eliminated it. Yeah, and I guess... I remember seeing that. Yeah, it was like a year ago, and it's never recovered at all. People Add the nudity back. The new people are not going to. I don't know wh- whoever bought it. They have no... Did you see the... You know who Whitney... Whitney Cummings, is that her name? The comedian? Yeah. Did you see what happened to her? Yeah, this story is oddly familiar. Oh, for- the nipple thing? Yeah. Or she, she posted it, and then she took it down, and people are like, "Yeah, how much are you going to pay me to not put this back on the internet? And she just posted it again. Yeah. I want to say this happened, same thing, like, not that long ago with somebody else. Bella Thorne. Was it? Yeah. And uh, people, it's happened quite a people few. People trying to blackmail you. I don't, isn't that a crime? Couldn't you? Yes. Couldn't you just go, I mean, I'm not saying. You mean d- blackmail? That's a crime? Yeah. But and I mean, it had to fall under harassment, too. Uh, I'm surprised. You know, people don't get arrested for that. And how do they re- like respond? Like, like my 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 DMs are open on Twitter. If you want to message me at nine to five nerds, but uh, like most of them are closed. You can't just message somebody. Like so I never understood this. Slide black- into my DMs because it's like if you don't turn that on, it, you can't. So if you can't get a hold of somebody, you can't blackmail them. That's kind of funny. Yeah. So the less reachable you are, the, the more likely. <laughs> Like well, no, the, you'd probably just contact their agent or contact their point of interest. Well, even on Instagram, you can you can message anybody, but they have to. They only come to you if you're following that person. Otherwise, there's like a sidebar. It's like yeah. you know requests. I wonder if the blackmail went that far, like to seek out seek out the publicist, and then I don't know. It seemed like an awful lot for everybody's got n- nudies now. You know? I've never sent one. No, but I mean, actresses and actors. Like, have you ever sent one? No, but I'm saying. Well, just think of like religious leaders. They would totally pay to have that stuff oh, shut yeah. down. Like is evangelists. It, like Joel Osteen or Osteen or whatever that guy's name is. The mega church dude. Uh, Samantha Bee just did another one on another guy who uh, backed from, Trump instead of Ted Cruz in Texas. And it was all over nudie photos. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, especially when you have that kind of, not all of them, but that right wing Christianity thing that could really ruin your image. Yeah. I don't think Whitney Cummings is the exact opposite of that. Exact opposite so, of that, yeah. She's fine. I saw uh, Sarah Silverman was saying that she's lost jobs. Uh, she lost a job for a movie thing over her, her blackface, blackface sketch yeah. years back. What, on like the Sarah Silverman show or something before yeah. that? I think it was the Sarah Silverman show. She did a blackface sketch. Well, I would feel bad, but not bad. She's doing fine. Yeah, I mean, I think she understands why she would lose out in a job because of that, especially in yeah. today's climate. I mean, it was a bad idea to do it then. I know, but it's worse now. Jokes in the '90s were way different. What were you oh, yeah. away with? Yeah, you can't watch *Revenge of the Nerds*, which I freaking love that movie. That movie has rape in it and all sorts of horrible things you can't do nowadays. Oh no! No! <laughs> oh I mean, no! I think sorry, you-, you can't put on film and have people laugh at and say that's funny. You can't get, like the yeah, hunt I is mean there is there is an aspect of that that's that's lost, and you will uh lose certain parts of comedy which were funny uh I'm not saying racism or rape, but I'm saying that there were things that you could joke about then that you can't joke about now uh trading places Dan Aykroyd put on blackface at one point in time for like a Halloween costume he was trying to blend it, but that movie had <laughs> like well, honestly, Aykroyd isn't getting uh, don't you think that ostracized? robert downey jr's jr was hilarious in tropic thunder yeah that's black oh, yeah. he was great but it was also making fun of somebody wearing a blackface. character doing yes. that so yeah. it was squeaked by from that aspect of them it's it, it hit right on the satire i mean but it's it's a lot tougher to do but now you can do it nowadays we just watched satire. uh we just watched bill and ted the first bill and ted with the boys to have blackface no. no, I just I I didn't say this out <laughs> loud when I was watching it, but I like uh uh Bill as Preston. Ted is is Keanu Reeves, right? Yes. Uh, uh, I, I, I thought it was funny that the definition of a of an asshole uh, authoritarian father 
was he was wearing an NRA jacket in the in the nice. Way back <laughs> in like then. a bunch of scenes, and I'm like, that's funny that they would associate the NRA back in the 80s with a dick father. Which one's dad was the cop? Was one of them? Yeah, same guy. Okay, I thought I also thought that was the same guys who was the dad and stepbrothers, but it's not. No, no. they look very similar though. Like, like I looked bald, up to see if they were related. White. Oh, yeah. Well, no, just not the nose, the chin, the eyes, the facial features. Just they look really Similar. close. I, I watched the sequel more than the first one. I did too. Yeah. That's next. That's next. That's good. I'm, now I'm going to help watch that so then next year we could see the next one. Yeah. August 2020. Hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. Who knows, man? Who knows? Bring back death. He's in it. Is he? 100%. Yeah. I didn't know that. And so that is the... You don't watch uh, Barry, but there's a guy in that that, that one of the characters... The, the, no, no Hank. No yeah. He might be my favorite person on any show ever in the history of TV. Really, he's good. He's that good. Like, I maybe not the best, but top ten favorite characters on television ever, easily. Better than well, Saul it, he just makes it seem like he's just not even working. He's so good in that. Yeah, he's so good. He played Victor Zaz in uh, Gotham. Gotham as well. Oh yeah, yeah. But he's gonna be the bad guy. He looks. I. I he's so good in that show. That's just a great show. Yeah, it, Barry is a really good show. That's worth a watch, man. Oh, and I decided that we're not canceling HBO yet because I want to watch True Detective. Okay, yeah, I do too. So I want to watch Chernobyl. So hopefully, I, that's I, supposed to be really yeah. good. One day. I keep getting told to watch that when I'm at work. What do you want to start with, season one or season three? Season one supposed to be pretty amazing. Okay, season so. three is supposed to be equally good, but everybody says season two is not that good. So, have you watched any of the True Detectives? No. Well, it's like an anthology yeah, where I each know they're season all is, so it's, it doesn't really matter. I, I can't remember who's in each one. Woody Harrelson, the first one. Well, the third one is Stephen Dorff and Mahershala Ali. Mm-hmm. And I heard it takes place over three decades. Yeah. So they age the characters in it. Which one's Colin Farrell in? Two. The second one with Vince Vaughn, I believe? Yeah, sounds right. That's the one that's not supposed to be very good. Uh, we can still try it and see if it works out. We can How long skip are those? It. They're probably our shows. A lot of shows. And there's so much content, man, that it's so hard. It's so hard mm. to uh, get through everything. It's Michael Scott line. There's other things I want to watch. Like, I'd love to sit and watch It's Always Sunny. I watched the first season that and that show. was it. I'd love to not watch The Office every single night. for. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to put on something that is a kind of appropriate. Yeah. When your kids, when you're six and your nine-year-old know all the names of all the characters on Parks and Rec and The Office. And they can sing all the songs. Yeah, you watch too much. Yeah. I regret it. I haven't watched South Park now in like two seasons. And that was a show I watched every Wednesday night at 10 o'clock. If you miss a season and you're not you're like, done. then you're just done. I, I don't have cable. And that's why I stopped watching it. And I don't have a computer to watch it either. I stopped watching Arrow, Flash, Gotham. And I didn't miss it. So it's just like, whatever. I, I want to watch South Park one day. I want to I want to rewatch them all somehow one day. In I don't know if there's anything. Barry was the big one for me. I knew that I wanted to watch Barry because I had heard an interview with Bill Hader before it came out and then two seasons came out and there's not a lot of shows. Yeah. That's a really good show. I still want to watch the Haunting on House Hill. Yeah. The Haunting Haunting on Hill House. That's one. That's a good show. I I really enjoyed that. That's on my episode eight. I just read a, a, a comic called The Plot that's coming out, I think, next month from Vault Comics. That's a Vault, Yeah yeah uh that's it has a very it's really good if Similar. you yeah it, it has a very haunting of hill house vibe um it's, well you know that they're doing that show as like an anthology yeah they're gonna do too. a different house or yeah. a different thing next time but that'd be cool no the plot is is very creepy i'm getting kind of goosebumps just talking about it <laughs> uh you ever have anything like that where you talk about it and you kind of like i'm, I'm sure creep there out. is i can't kind of creep out uh no <laughs> it's very creepy and very just Ugh. the snail zombie with the eyes i'm sure you've seen that what snail zombie with you that? haven't seen the picture of the snail zombie no is it slower oh. than a regular zombie <laughs> no but uh the plot if you're if you're looking for something creepy to read it's i believe it comes out next month the plop the plop plop you haven't you don't plop. know what plop, plop is <laughs> toilet plop because no. you're always plop. taking dumps <laughs> <laughs> it's a office joke is it i Lost on that guy you don't like that has the glasses that's from Hot Tub Time Machine and is he in it? He's in the very last season of The Office with somebody else, and one of the guys' name is Plop. What the fuck is that? So it's a snail, and this worm has gone inside the snail, and it's attracting birds because this worm only is able to reproduce in the GI tract of birds. 
So it's making all this movement inside a snail to get the bird to eat it. So it's one of those parasitic yeah. creatures. Like that, those things that took over ants. Yeah. The fungus. Those are terrifying. Last of Us. Last of Us. Exactly. When is that coming out? I don't know. They need to release Never. the... Uh, side note, when I looked up Dan, Sidebar? Dan Trachtenberg, the next movie he's going to direct, possibly, in talks, I don't know, Uncharted, starring Tom Holland. Mm-hmm. You heard about it? I know Tom Holland. I didn't know about Trachtenberg. Yeah. And, Why uh, are you moving so weird? Like you're affected with a zombie <laughs> worm. And what's his name? Uh, da, 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 I think it's guy from Breaking Bad. What's his face? Walter. His face? Yeah. Walter White. I no one's be, face. And I don't know if he's playing Damn. Sully or not, but that'd be tight. I don't know how... I mean, if Tom Holland is... Brian like, Cranston? Thank you. God, yeah. it was... You're Tom welcome. Holland's like 22 years old. It's going to be a very different... Nathan I Brady. didn't watch the last season of... Better Call Saul, and I regret it. Like, I, I want to watch it. We can... Uh, I'm behind on that, too. I want to finish that. Is it over? I don't know. I haven't heard anything about a fourth season. I just want to know if it caught up. I couldn't just, find it on uh, our YouTube TV, so... The prequel's going to come soon enough to Breaking Bad. Soon. That's not soon sorry, enough. Sorry, is that a prequel? <laughs> sorry, that's not a prequel. Sorry. A sequel. Should we pitch in and get a... You know what that cameo thing is? No. Cameo is a thing that has like celebrities and you can uh, pay like a, a one-time fee and they'll do like a, like a greeting for somebody for you, like a video. What would you want? That for? I want John DiMaggio to say, you're listening to 9 to 5 Nerds. <laughs> you want to be like a radio station, you have all these people. Yeah. And we could just interject them in here. I told I you that at Comic-Con, just take a recorder to your phone. I should. I wonder what how much he is on... Uh, on 50 there. bucks no i think it was like uh sean hundred dollars sean astin's on there he's like 250 bucks oh jesus for how long but they have gilbert godfrey on there <laughs> like don't you think that'd be like great uh great in a bad way like can you get like a actual role list of things to say or have him like do little sayings like are shazam you the full phil hartman experience where he does all his characters voices on your answer machine for you and it's very long. And Troy Aikman's on there. I don't care about Troy Aikman. No, I want to browse your talent cameo. <laughs> Stop uh, shutting me Perez out. Perez Hilton, $46. Gilbert Godfrey is 150 For what exactly does that entail? You know, Andy Dick's 99 He's Michael Rapport. Sorry. They name their own prices. So Andy Dick ain't doing nothing. <laughs> he just got the shit beat out of him. Yeah. What? In New Orleans. He yeah. like had like a brain bleed. Yeah, he's he's not doing so hot. There. Not at all. Why, what was he, he got, doing in New Orleans? He got a sucker punch outside a club at yeah. 2 a.m. He's yeah. in line. It looked like there's... Uh, what on Bourbon Street? That place. Awful. You want to get Jim O'Hare? Damn it, Jerry. <laughs> uh, Bam Margera's on there. He's not doing anything either, man. He's no. in jail. Ernie Hudson? All these people are in jail. <laughs> Ernie Hudson. Oh, Bob Mennery's on here. That's the guy that does the R-rated sports shit. Oh, you love him. What? The R-rated sports announcing? He's like, is. look at this fucker. He looks like he just stepped on my nephew's Lego. Have I never showed you this guy? No, I think you did. You showed me. Um, oh, God. Bob Mennery is 125. I'm getting that. I'm what? I'm getting that. No. You're fucking listening to 9 to 5. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bob Mennery. That is excellent. Get I am some more Patreons to Corey contribute. Feldman is 202. Who is Chris Harrison? It says The Bachelor. Good for him. He's $600. Well, The Bachelor's on TV. Ice tea, three fifty. That's pretty cheap. James, I don't know who some of these people are. James White's a running back for the Patriots, but like, who cares? Brian Bumgarner, he's Kevin from. Can he? Thank oh, you Tommy home? Lauren, the Fox News oh. piece of shit girl. There you go, best friend. No, we should pay the sixty dollars and be like, make her say something. Completely. Like liberals are the best. <laughs> I'm sure she wouldn't do it. I want my money back. Brett Favre is five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. They do these in like five minutes too. Could you imagine Gary Busey? That would be a funny one. Gary Busey just fucking rant like a motherfucker. I'm looking at Tito Ortiz. No, no, no. D. Snyder. Really? Cool. We ain't gonna take it. Pauly Shore, Tony Hawk. <laughs> Have you seen any of the things like Tony Hawk is in like? middling fame right now where people are like you look like tony hawk he's like yeah i know <laughs> i saw one that was like oh hey tony hawk my kid loves you there's, there's a lot of this like okay like do you still skateboard yeah <laughs> cool <laughs> it's a weird point <laughs> <laughs> i want to know how how okay 
So you know who Dr. Drew is? Yes. You know who... Uh, 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 just a second. I don't, I, I don't want you to tell me her name. Jan Levinson. Yes. From the office. Okay. What do you think Jan Levinson is and what do you think Dr. Drew is? Are they the same? No. Mm. I don't know these people. Jan Levinson is more than Dr. Drew. She is. By a hundred and one dollars. She's two ninety nine. That's expensive. Yeah, nobody's paying for that. It, does she sing? Is she gonna sing me an intro? I'm I'm the full song. Tara Reed's on here for a hundred bucks. But I mean oh some of these would be fun. Steve Gutenberg. Now I'm just naming off names. People like, why the fuck am I still listening to this podcast? Norm Macdonald, three seventy five. That would be funny. Um, no, I was looking for John DiMaggio because I look Jose Canseco's on here. You can't search people. You can Randy Jackson. So you're looking through it because you want hey, to. Dog, yeah. I just want to let you know, really good performance today, dog. <laughs> exactly. Listen to listen to ninety five nerds, dog. <laughs> Come on, that'd be great. John DiMaggio, seventy five bucks. We could have him do his bender. A voice actor is cheaper in general. I looked for uh, uh, Billy West. Yes, thank you. But that'd be cool. Hey, listen to 95 Nerds meet back. Come on. Or even uh, your Rick and Morty guy. I'm surprised he's down there. Justin Rowland? Yeah. He says he's crazy. Yeah, he he seems a little crazy. I've seen him a couple things. He's funny as shit. Yeah. I like when he called Joel Osteen's... (laughs) <laughs> hotline <laughs> speaking in tongues that was pretty good yeah what are you looking at katrina entertainment news Luke what's going on file for bankruptcy did they yeah they Aww. they toast people ain't gonna get all the packages they, like because people are months behind uh you, you have Luke great you had not it anymore a bunch nerd of block other. was better was that it what was it? uh yeah they had different age brackets it was and it was nice. canadia based at Comic Con, Loot Crate had big booth for yeah. a while. Not this year, right? They did. It was on the back aisle. I think they were was closing it? out all their stuff. Same thing with ThinkGeek, man. ThinkGeek bought, got bought out by GameStop. Were yep. they going under though? Probably. ThinkGeek seemed to always have new stuff. That's why I like. They had or great things on they clearance. Had really cool stuff too. I mean, they made so many different products. I, mean, I don't know how it works, but that's yeah. GameStop got it. You said right? Yeah. Nobody's in Loot Crate. Not even the people subscribing to it. So they just lost their money? There's going to be a lawsuit. I don't know. They're they're still full-time employees, and they're probably going to try to honor everything they've sold, but I don't know how it works. It's going to take probably a while to sort through. One more story for us, Corey. What do you got? Did you get your lifetime pasta pass? No. No. The $400 one? We talked about it. I I was like, what am I going to be at 2 p.m.? I'm not going to pay attention. $100 for the the short time or whatever, and then the first 75 people were $400? Not a horrible deal, even the... Yeah, for four hundred or hundred bucks, you get no, not at all. Nine weeks of all you can eat pasta and breadsticks. So do you get to just go once a day? Dine in. You have to pay for drinks and tip. If not, you have to pay. And but, then you still get unlimited pasta and breadsticks. But you do it as much as you want in nine weeks. Like, can I take stuff home? I don't know about doggy bags. They might curb that shit. I think it not if you get like one to go, but like if you half eat something, they're probably like all right. Uh, potentially you take a bite. And I don't know if you have that pass if you could buy for a friend. I assume not as well. No, I, I no. assume there are limitations. So you can't. <laughs> Here's, uh, I, it's funny because I, I I I have an article on my phone that says the 40 most outrageous things that have happened in Florida so far this year. So far, number 40 Counter is ticking. Number 40 is Florida man arrested outside Olive Garden after eating pasta belligerently. <laughs> uh, can I tell you some? This is like as a meme or joke. Is that if you imagine Florida Man as a superhero and then Google Florida Man, it becomes the funniest thing in the world. It's like one dude, Florida Man. (laughs) And just Google that and have fun with it. Vacationeers find alligator lounging on alligator pool float at their Miami Airbnb. No, 35 is my favorite. Florida Man who allegedly threatened family with Coldplay lyrics and standoff after Swap promises him pizza. That Florida Man... (laughs) There's, uh, there's, uh, I don't know what number one is. Lyft driver refuses to be getaway car after Florida woman steals e-cigarettes. Not Florida. <laughs> Isn't it really hot out there right now? It's always hot it's out always there. It's always warm yeah. out there. Oh, it's like a lot of humidity or something. 
Florida woman jailed for calling 911 because her boyfriend wasn't being nice. This is just 2019. Yeah. Anything Fake cop pulls over real cop on I-4, gets arrested. Anything happens weird in the country is Florida. Pretty much. Kill him with kindness. Florida man stabs neighbor with machete named kindness. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. And Florida man strikes again. Florida man threatens to eat eyes and tongues of cops. I wonder what Walt Disney would think of it now if he were still He's alive. Like, yeah, maybe I won't. Like, order, man, why did I have to put it there? Police arrest man who claims playing basketball naked enhances his skill level. <laughs> These kids were picking up trash for Earth Day. Then they found a 22-pound bale of weed. And then they went home. They had a good day. <laughs> Florida man pulls gun on delivery crew after furniture arrives, arrives late. To tell them, I've shot people for less. <laughs> what? <laughs> Spider-Man seen pressure washing roof of Florida home during rainstorm. Florida man blames horse for home break-in. Was there a horse-shaped figure in the doorway? <laughs> like, how do you blame it? Like the Kool-Aid man, but the horse. <laughs> right. Sideways. Florida woman drops pants, licks man, dances naked in Waffle House parking lot. How'd that make headlines? That's just a normal day in Florida. All of these are. <laughs> Jacksonville man accused of threatening local Magic the Gathering players. With what? Doesn't say. Thong wearing Florida man arrested while building shed with garbage on a stranger's property. <laughs> Florida man thought he was stealing drugs, not laxatives. Oh, uh, well. I, I read the article on this one. Florida man steals $33,000 in rare coins, uses them in change machines. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've seen some bank robber thing where a bank robber give a note demanding money this is i was on the radio like a week ago and unfortunately that was like his had his name and his address on the back of something from the dmv so yeah, he got I saw caught that. afterwards like, you are stupid surfer bitten by shark goes to bar instead of hospital that's a sean bean thing right there yeah not oh, fine they'll stop bleeding yeah he was in that bar fight and he just went back to drinking and you're drinking you don't really care florida couple uses pet alligator revealed 10th child's gender Pet alligator. Yeah. Yeah. It's Florida. What do you think they have for pets? Well, there's the alligator that lives in the lagoon at your dad's house. When we you, talked about this. When your pet gets too old, you just let him go in the lagoon by Walt Disney World. Right? Yeah. And Charges dropped against Florida man arrested for I eat ass sticker on truck. We talked about that. Remember the I eat ass sticker? Did we not talk about this? Were the charges brought up on him? Yeah. They're trying to charge him for fucking no reason. Okay. The, the top two were both about Florida men licking doorbells. <laughs> what, what, what are they trying to achieve? No, it's for like hours at like two in the morning. Like it was caught on rings. Like they were just licking doorbells. Were they on uh, bath salts as well? Probably. <laughs> Better that than eating humans, I guess. That's the other thing to eat. Uh, Besides ass. I guess you could eat a human ass on bath salts. What? Florida. Yeah. If you had to eat Don't a part of, questions. like, if you were in a live situation, what would be the first body part you would eat? Oh, if you're a cannibal? Yeah. Like, I mean, you, you're in a live situation, like. I wouldn't eat your feet. If that's what you're asking. I think, like, like the part from above, below yeah. the hip to above the knee, like the, like the. Yeah. The hawk. The answer is ass. <laughs> no, officer. I, I eat ass in a situation <laughs> if there was an alive situation. That's the argument in court. <laughs> I saw a meme that said. It said, uh, it was a little girl and her mom, and it said, Mom, how did you meet Dad? And the, and the mom's like, well, <laughs> your dad sent me a picture of his dick, so I sent him a picture of my asshole. <laughs> no, I oh, laughed out loud. That's funny. I didn't LOL. I uh, actually laughed out loud. I read something on the Donner Party, which is interesting, is that I guess there's some Indians who lived up they in the ass. <laughs> No, but the Indians tried to bring them food. They saw these parties starving, and but they're – the Donna part is very racist. They thought Indians were coming to attack them. So like three or four times, Indians tried to bring them food and blankets. No, and, I'm and eating this fucking every, person. Every single time they shot at him and chased him away. And the Indians eventually gave up. And they, they saw me to other people. They said, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm be like, we're starving. Look at these Indians with food. Shoot them. Shoot them dead. Honey, we can't have Indians here. Pass the leg. We should, we should, uh, 
We should assign each other characters for like like a situation like that, like a historical thing where like you're part of the Donny Donner party and you have a character to play, but you have to like come up with a dialogue yourself. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. I think that'd I don't be think fun. we do very well. Yeah. Pass the cheek. No. Pass the cheek. Like the cheeks. Uh, Katrina's <laughs> squeezing her cheek. <laughs> Not her face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I. I, I so I'm, I'm hesitant to say we have cool stuff coming up because we just don't we're not cool anymore i thought you had a books and brews set up we do we have to do that <laughs> okay it's 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 hard like we were just getting back in the swing of things because we were gone for like three weeks it seems like we had momentum and now we're just kind of stalled out mm. sure. like we're boring people we just need to stop we're gonna stop forever There's i'm no trying mo- to figure things out don't let me in with your unmotivated we're trying to figure out the best way to do these phone-in interviews that are actually going to have good sound quality because we have a couple people uh lined up to do them that are cool the guys from vault comics the guys from vault comics said they would come on too so i want to get that going that'd be tight yeah i'm working on it so we do have some cool stuff as soon as we get this quality figured out but uh Yep. And uh, our buddy Alan Berserker, who's our books and brews guy, is in the process of buying a house. So Not reading too much. He's busy. Yeah. As soon as he's done with that, we'll do our next books and brews episode. It's probably three, three or four weeks from now. Okay. And we'll do our next one. Um, but uh, that'll be this week's episode. Installment. Installment. Issue. I thought you changed it. This week's issue of 95 Nerds.